Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. And today I'm talking about cool wheelchair brands. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I recently got a new wheelchair. And when I was researching for wheelchairs, I didn't really know what kinds of brands were out there. I knew that there was Tie Light, that had been a name that had been around for a while and I'd seen lots of Tie Light chairs. Uh, I knew there was Quickie because that, that was the first chair that I ever had and it was a really big brand, popular brand. But other than that, I didn't really know what kinds of wheelchairs brands I could choose from. And so I asked a few friends, I saw a couple of different options and I just went with an RGK because I saw a friend that had it, I really liked the design and I wanted to try something different than uh, what my Tie Light was. I didn't do a lot of research though, and when I started looking into what kinds of wheelchairs are actually out there, I found a lot of different types of wheelchairs. I put together sort of a buffet, is what I'm calling it, of wheelchair brands for you guys so that you can be more knowledgeable than I was, and you can look around at the different kinds of options that you might have if you're getting a new wheelchair. To put together this list, I surveyed my friends and did a very informal survey on Facebook where I went into some of the wheelchair user groups and just asked, what are the best wheelchairs? What wheelchairs do you like the best? Which is the best wheelchair you've ever used? And I got a list. Um, some of the wheelchairs people gave me a specific brand and model number. So if that happened, then I will talk about that specific model. And then some of the other ones, they just gave me a brand. So I will talk about the brand more in general um, and then kind of give the options that are available for rigid chairs um, because this entire list is rigid chairs. It's not folding chairs or power chairs or anything like that. I just wanted to put together a list of the lightweight, ultra lightweight wheelchairs uh, that somebody that's a paraplegic or maybe a quadriplegic would use. Before I get started, I'm just going to read the entire list uh, in case somebody doesn't want to watch the entire video through, I know we've all got things to do. So you might just want to like see what they are and not actually hear a whole bunch about them. So number one is a Quickie 7R. Number two is a Kai or Key. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. Key Mobility Rogue. Number three is Progio. I'm probably saying that wrong too. Number four is Kushal. I think. I'm going to say all these wrong. So I apologize in advance. And if I'm saying them wrong, I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. Um, number five is Motion Composite Apex. Number six is Panthera X. Number seven, Tie Light ZR, which is the old wheelchair that I had. Number eight is Aria. This cool, this wheelchair is so cool. I can't wait to talk about it. It's the one that I initially wanted, but couldn't get because it's not available in Canada. It's so sexy. So I'm excited to show you guys this one. Number nine is Off Car Quizar. I'm saying that wrong too. You'd think I would be better at pronouncing things because I'm actually a teacher, but well, cool. um, now I don't know where I am. Number 10, I think. Number 10, RGK sub four. Number 11, box wheelchairs. Number 12, hands-on concepts wheelchairs. And then number 13, society wheelchairs. So that's a long list. When I was looking for wheelchairs, I thought I had like four options. And turns out there's a lot of cool wheelchairs out there. So I'm excited to talk about them. For each one of the wheelchairs, I'm gonna talk about the wheelchair brand, I'm gonna talk about the location of the wheelchair brand, uh, whether it's adjustable or not, and how much it's adjustable, the material that the wheelchair is made out of, the weight capacity, like the user weight capacity, um, and then the transport weight without the wheels, except for box wheelchairs because I couldn't find that. Um, so those are the things that I'm gonna talk about for each wheelchair. And then if you're interested in more, you know, in-depth things, you can go to their website, which I'll put in the links below. Okay, so let's jump right in with um, the first one, which is a Quickie 7R. I feel like Quickie was the only wheelchair available when I was first paralyzed. I got a Quickie XTR and it was a super cool wheelchair, I thought, with a shock on the bottom and it was yellow and I thought it looked super badass. It was measured super wrong and it was giant but it still looked cool uh, and it's in my basement and I hate it now because I use it to do laundry and it's so much bigger than my current wheelchairs that I run into the walls all the time. But anyway, I digress. That is the wheelchair that I first got and it was a quickie. Um, this wheelchair, the 7R is the, I guess the highest and most ultra lightweight wheelchair that quickie makes currently. And it is the most customizable, sort of like made to order. Um, it is not very adjustable. So 
it is slightly adjustable if you get the 7R model, which allows you to adjust the back angle um, of the wheelchair, but that's basically it. And all of these wheelchairs, all of the footrest heights are adjustable because you know you might get different shoes or you might get a different size cushion. So um, just assume that all of the, the footrest heights are adjustable. And if I don't mention that, because if I forget to mention it in any of them and I say it's not adjustable, the foot, the foot plate height is always adjustable on all wheelchairs. So the backrest angle is adjustable if you get the 7R model. The 7RS model is slightly different with a fixed backrest and you can adjust the angle in that one. This one has a really cool looking back. It says that it provides 360 degrees of range of upper body motion with this cool backrest because it doesn't have canes that go straight up like a normal backrest does. They kind of curve in and, and secure to the backrest in the middle. It's a super cool design feature. Um, it looks really neat and it's super functional. So I think this is a super cool looking wheelchair. Um, it's made out of aluminum. The weight capacity is 120 kilograms or 265 pounds and its transport weight without the wheels is five kilograms or 11 pounds. So that's pretty good. Um, my wheelchair that I first got from Quickie is a tank. It's so heavy. So this wheelchair is a giant improvement and it's nice looking. So that is Quickie 7R, that's the first one. Number two is Ki, Kai, not really sure, Ki, Kai Mobility Rogue. And it is based out of the US, um, but is available in Canada, the United Kingdom and Latin America, or at least those are the different regions that they list on their website. It is a sleek looking wheelchair. All of the, the rigid wheelchairs available from Kai or Key Mobility um, are actually adjustable. And this specific one is adjustable in the casters, the seat height, center of gravity and side guards. So it's got quite a bit of adjustability. It says it's the only one on the market with this caster fork adjustability, which looks really cool. It looks like you can sort of adjust where the casters are or the angle that the casters are or something. I'm not really sure why you would ever do that, but it's a cool feature, I guess, if you wanted to be able to do that. It's made out of aluminum. The weight capacity is 124.7 kilograms or 275 pounds. And the transport weight is 4.881 kilograms or 10.6 pounds. If anybody has this chair, I'm super interested to know why you would want to adjust the casters or why that's uh, even a benefit. So if anybody knows that, leave it in the comments so that you can educate me. Okay, so number three is the Progio wheelchairs. This, these, this wheelchair brand is based out of Italy and is available in France, Germany, and the United Kingdom. Um, it has a lot of different uh, rigid chair options and because the person that suggested this to me didn't give a specific model um, as like the best wheelchair, I'm just going to sort of give a brief overview of all of the different rigid uh, options that are available through this brand. The rigid options that they have available are both are either carbon fiber or aluminum. The adjustable options are the aluminum joker the Joker R2, the Carbon Fiber Joker, the Carbon Fiber Duke, and the Carbon Max. And then the thing, the ones that are not adjustable are the Aluminum Joker Energy. So there's a lot of Jokers in this uh, company and it's kind of confusing, but the Joker Energy is an aluminum version. It is the most customizable and is it is uh, not adjustable and then the, the lightest, most customizable carbon fiber is the Noir 2.0 and it's not adjustable either, apart from the foot plate. Uh, I already said that they both, that the materials are aluminum and carbon fiber. The weight capacity um, for all of these wheelchairs, it doesn't matter which model it is, is 125 kilograms or 275 pounds. The heaviest chair that Pragio has is the Joker R2 and it is six kilograms or 13.2 pounds. And then the lightest chair is the, um, the Carbon Fiber Noir 2.0 and it is four kilograms or 8.8 .8 pounds. These are without the wheels. This brand has a lot of options. So if you're looking for something that is you know, nice looking and totally adjustable or totally customizable, this, this brand is probably a good one to check out. Um, okay, so number four is Kushal and it is based out of Switzerland, but it is also available in Europe and internationally. 
Um, they have two types of uh, rigid chairs, the K series, which is adjustable, and then the KSL series, which is made to measurements. Um, so made to order based on your measurements. Um, it doesn't, I couldn't find anywhere on the website where it said the, um, the material. So I'm not sure whether it's aluminum or titanium or what the wheelchairs are made of. These wheelchairs are really sleek looking. I really, really like the look of these wheelchairs. They have like a cool, um, where the where the wheelchair would normally bend in the front, like at the front frame angle, it's kind of flat. So it's just a cool design feature. And then they have um, all these little decals that you can get in different colors. Um, and so, it's, it's a cool looking wheelchair, that's for sure. The weight capacity of the Kushal wheelchairs of both of these models that I was talking about is 130 kilograms or 286 pounds. And the, the transport weight of the K series, which is the adjustable series, is 5.1 kilograms or 11.22 pounds. And the transport weight of the custom made to order um, series of the KSL series is 4.3 kilograms or 9.46 pounds. One of the things that's so cool about this, the Kushal brand is that they're coming out with a concept wheelchair. It's not available yet, but it is um, supposed to be the lightest wheelchair in the world once it's made. It is a prototype that is being built out of something called graphene. I don't even know what that is, but it is the supposed to be the toughest aerospace material possible, 200 times stronger than steel, 10 times tougher than diamond, and still incredibly flexible. So that sounds super cool. Um, and once it's made, um, the frame weight itself is gonna be just 1.5 kilograms. So that is super, super cool. Um, right now, the Panthera X is the lightest wheelchair in the world, which I'll talk about in a sec. So this will be super cool when this comes out because I can't even imagine picking up a wheelchair that only weighs, you know, roughly three pounds. It's gonna be so cool. So definitely check this wheelchair out and you can put, even put your email in um, to, uh, to find out when this wheelchair is gonna be available. The next one is Motion Composite Apex. These wheelchairs are also very funky looking. They are definitely like aesthetically pleasing. Some wheelchairs just look very sleek and like minimalist. This wheelchair looks pretty funky. Like it's got little um, accent pieces that are colored. The Motion Composite is a Canadian wheelchair. It is available in the US and internationally. The Apex C and the Apex A are both adjustable. So they're rigid models of this wheelchair are both adjustable. The Apex C is a carbon fiber um, option and the Apex A is an aluminum option. Um, and they're basically the same wheelchair, just made out of different material. Um, the weight capacity for this wheelchair is 120 kilograms or 265 pounds. And the Transport weight of the Apex A, which is the aluminum version, is 4.8 kilograms or 10.6 pounds. And the transport weight of the Apex C, which is the carbon fiber option, is 4.4 kilograms or 9.7 pounds. So super light um, and super adjustable. So if your seating needs change often, this is a cool wheelchair to check out. So the things that are actually adjustable on this wheelchair is the backrest angle, the seat to floor height, and the rear, rear wheel position. So those are all good things to be able to change, especially if you're a new wheelchair user and you are not yet sure about your comfort level or you're not you know, totally set on your seating needs. Um, okay, so the next one is Panthera X. So this one actually a friend of mine has and I was so sold that I was gonna get this wheelchair uh, when I first started looking and then I tried it and it was just so light that I found myself tipping over a lot but my friend loves this wheelchair. He, he transfers in and out of his vehicle and breaks his chair down and it is like so light. It's like a pillow to get in and out of the vehicle. So it's a super, super cool wheelchair and I believe it is the lightest wheelchair on the market uh, at the moment. Panthera is based out of Sweden. It's also internationally available. You can definitely get Panthera in Canada if you want to. You can get it in the US. Um, I think you can pretty much get it anywhere. Um, it is slightly adjustable. So um, it has an adjustable backrest angle and an adjustable footrest height, but that's it. Um, every other uh, measurement on it is gonna be fixed. Um, it is made out of carbon fiber, which is why it's so light. Its maximum user weight is 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. That's still pretty good. 
Uh, but for, you know, a bigger fella that might be really tall or, you know, heavy, this isn't going to be the wheelchair for them. Um, the transport weight is the real shining star of this wheelchair. It is only 2.1 kilograms without the wheels, which is so amazing for people who actually break down their chair and pull it into their vehicle because then it saves your wrists and your shoulders and all the things that are so important for your independence. And this wheelchair just allows you to maintain that independence without taxing important body parts. Okay, so the next one is a Tie Light ZR, and this is the chair that I had just before my new wheelchair. Uh, it's gotten so much better since then. It is the most customizable wheelchair that Tie Light has, I believe, um, and it's basically made to order. Tie Light is actually owned by Permobile, and it is based out of the USA, but uh, they also have um, a location in Canada and the wheelchairs are available internationally. So you can basically get a tie light anywhere. Um, it is minimally adjustable. It's the seat back height and angle are adjustable if you choose a folding backrest option. So if you get a fixed backrest, then obviously um, the those adjustments aren't possible. But um, if you do want those minimal adjustments, then you can just order the, the chair with a folding back. It's made out of titanium and it's standard weight capacity. So if you're just getting the standard version of the chair is 120 kilograms or 265 pounds. And if you get the heavy duty version of the chair, then the weight capacity is 135 kilograms or 300 pounds. So that's really good news for really, really tall guys, really muscular people or anybody that's, you know, heavier um, because some of the other chairs, they kind of cap out in the, the you know, the 200s, the low 200s, mid 200s. Um, and there's a lot of us that, you know, way more than that. So it's nice to know that there's a chair that uh, accommodates that. Um, the transport weight of the Tylate ZR is 4.2 kilograms or 9.3 pounds, which is really good. My wheelchair, my Tylate ZR, I want to say that it was at least 15 pounds, like at least 15 pounds, but I had all the bells and whistles. I had um, armrests, I had everything that I could basically, basically get. So that probably made it a lot heavier. Um, and when they're uh, talking about these transport weights, they don't have um, they don't have the side guards usually, they don't have the, the cushion, they don't have, um, you know, the anti-tippers, they don't have armrests, they don't have all of those things. And so that probably contributed to the weight of my wheelchair a fair bit. So, um, I don't know if it would have been super light if I hadn't gotten all those things, but it's gotten a lot better, I think, in the, in the past 11 years with the technology and stuff. So that's tie lights at R. The next one is Aria and guys. This one is the one that I really wanted. It's super, super pretty. It almost looks sexy. The lines are really clean and I just really liked it. Um, it's based in, out of Italy, uh, but it's available also in Spain, Portugal, and the United Kingdom. They have a couple of different options for their rigid chairs. The ones that are adjustable are the 1.0 magnesium, the 2.0 aluminum, and the ultra. And the one that is not adjustable is the Special. It is the one that is sort of like custom made to order and it is not adjustable apart from the, the foot plate. These wheelchairs are made out of um, magnesium alloy, which is cool because I'd never heard of that before. Um, carbon fiber or aluminum. The two lightest wheelchairs that they have, which is the Ultra and the Special, um, the weight capacity for those is 100 kilograms, so 220 pounds. The other wheelchairs that they have, the 1.0 uh, magnesium and the 2.0 aluminum wheelchairs, the weight capacity is 120 kilograms or 264 pounds. And the uh, transport weight of their lightest wheelchair is um, 3.9 kilograms, which is the Special, which is the non-adjustable, most customized wheelchair. Um, and then the, the heaviest wheelchair that they have is the... Um, 2.0 aluminum wheelchair, the adjustable one, and it is 13.2 pounds or six kilograms. So this wheelchair is definitely worth checking out. Like it just, it's awesome. Like you just look at it all day. And one of the things that I loved the most about this wheelchair was the backrest. There is like a super cool looking backrest that just makes the wheelchair look nice. Like it just, it's unconventional, I guess. That's that's the word for it. Where I actually first saw this wheelchair is from an Instagram public figure influencer. Her name is Sophie Morgan. 
and she has this wheelchair and I just thought it looked so cool. Like it literally looked like an accessory to like her outfit. It wasn't like the wheelchair was, you know, a thing. It was that it was like a cool looking accessory to just her overall look. So um, if you wanna check her out and go see uh, her and the wheelchair in action, you can go check out her Instagram. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Um, okay, so the next wheelchair is Offcar Quissar. I don't know if I'm saying that right, probably not. Um, it's based in Italy. It is slightly adjustable, the backrest angle, the side guards and the foot plate are adjustable. Um, and then it has an adjustable rear axle option. So you can get a fixed uh, rear axle or you can get an adjustable rear axle um, with this same uh, wheelchair. Um, it is made out of titanium and I am not sure of the weight capacity because I couldn't find that anywhere on the website. So not entirely sure. The transport weight of this wheelchair is 4.4 kilograms uh, or 9.68 pounds. It's not as cool looking of a wheelchair as like some of the other wheelchairs uh, in this list, but it's definitely, uh, it was definitely made the, made the list when I surveyed people. So it probably is super functional. Um, and yeah, it has a lot of great features. It's just not as aesthetically pleasing, I don't think, as some of the other wheelchairs in this list, but definitely give it a check out um, if you live in Europe. Uh, okay, so the next wheelchair on the list is the wheelchair that I am currently in, the RGK Sub 4. Um, it is, RGK is a UK brand and it's available internationally. I believe that it's available in almost every country. Um, it is, this wheelchair is very minimally adjustable. I, I think you can only adjust the, uh, the foot plate once the wheelchair is made for you. It is made to order. So you own every measurement on the chair, um, and whatever your measurements are, they will build it that way. So some of these wheelchairs you can only get in like half inch increments in a lot of the different, uh, measurements, but they will build whatever you want, uh, at RGK. Um, so that's super cool. Um, it's made out of titanium. The um, weight capacity is 110 kilograms or 243 pounds. And it is guaranteed to, be, guaranteed to be less than four kilograms. So for those weight capacities, whatever the measurements are, uh, it's guaranteed to be less than four kilograms, which is su super cool because a lot of the other chairs, um, they their weight, uh, their transport weight is based on a certain size of the wheelchair. And then they say in their disclaimer, that if the wheelchair is bigger than those things, uh, typically like a 16 by 16 chair, then the weight is not gonna be uh, what they actually quote on their website. Whereas this one, it actually will be. As long as the person is under that weight capacity, then they will make sure the wheelchair is less than four kilograms or 8.8 .8 pounds, which is kind of a cool guarantee. Um, yeah, so that's, that's really neat. One thing that I wanted to show you while we're on this RGK is there's a daily wheelchair uh, called an Octane FX or a Taiga FX. And it is a super cool wheelchair that has like a folding part. The, the front of the wheelchair actually folds under and every part of the wheelchair, it's not a folding wheelchair, it's like a manual wheelchair in how it rides. But the, the after the wheels come off, the front of the, um, where the casters are folds under and then the side guards flip in and then the back folds down. So it literally can fit like in a carry-on, overhead carry-on in an airplane, which I thought was super cool. Um, so I just wanted to mention that wheelchair when we were on this RGK one, because it's not the lightest wheelchair ever. Like it's, it's you know, definitely heavier than the other wheelchairs. I don't even know if they would consider it an ultra light wheelchair, but it's definitely functional for somebody that travels a lot maybe and doesn't want their wheelchair to be thrown in the under, uh, carriage of the plane because you know how many of us have had damages to our wheelchairs doing that so if you can manage to get this wheelchair and fold it yourself then yeah you can take it to so many places um so i just thought that was really cool and i wanted to mention that while i was on rgk okay so the last three wheelchairs that i want to talk about are all sort of smaller brands of wheelchairs and they're very they're very much more customizable um, where you work with the with the company to customize your wheelchair to your needs. So box wheelchairs is the first one of these sort of smaller wheelchair brands and it is super cool. I spent so much time on this on the website just looking at the the team box and the team box is all a group of extreme wheelchair sport, Enthusiasts, I don't know what it is, but they all compete in uh, 
Wheelchair MX, WCMX, which I'm not entirely sure what that stands for. So if you know, please put it in the comments below. Um, but this wheelchair was specifically made for these, uh, these people that do like wheelchair skateboarding and like do ramp jumps and things like that. And so they needed a wheelchair that could stand up to that kind of abuse. And so this wheelchair was actually made for that. And then they came out with an everyday wheelchair. So a daily and daily suspension chairs. So these wheelchairs have like suspension on them, which is like a shock absorber system. They're definitely not the lightest wheelchairs out there, but they're, they definitely compete um, with, you know, some of the wheelchairs on this list. Um, and they didn't quote or they didn't give a number for the wheelchair transport weight without the wheels, but they did give a number for the wheelchair transport weight with the wheels, which is 23 pounds um, or 10.45 kilograms. So that's pretty good because there's some of the some wheelchairs on here were um, heavier than that without the wheels. So this is actually a really cool wheelchair. It's lightweight. It's got suspension and it can hold up to a lot of abuse. So if you are used to, you know, wheeling in really rough terrain, or you want to try these wheelchair extreme sports, then this might be the wheelchair for you. They're also really cool looking. Like they're definitely not a, a boring looking wheelchair. So the second last one that I'm going to talk about is hands-on concepts wheelchairs. If you are interested in a more in-depth in-depth video about hands-on concepts wheelchairs, I will put a link to a video that Wheels to Walking um, did about ordering a wheelchair through Hands-On Concepts. And this is a custom made exact specifications um, ordering process. The wheelchairs are all made out of titanium and they don't have a weight specification or anything because they're all custom made. So um, they make them according to your measurements and according to your needs. What do you like about your wheelchair? What don't you like about your wheelchair? Um, I have a friend that ordered a wheelchair uh, from them, like she's Canadian and loved the whole process. It was amazing. I think she got her wheelchair from like start to finish within like a month. It was so fast. It was insane. Um, and really competitive in terms of pricing. They don't have a crazy high price point for that individualization. So definitely go check them out if you're interested in working really closely with the person that's making your wheelchair. The last one I want to talk about is Society Wheelchairs. And this is another really small shop that is uh, a total custom wheelchair experience. Um, my friend Tanel um, got a wheelchair from them and I'm sure she's done a video on them. Uh, so I will also link to her video uh, about her new wheelchair. It is really cool looking. It's such a nice wheelchair. And again, they customize it to your exact specifications. It's made out of titanium um, and it is um, here in Canada in um, Maple Ridge, BC. So if you are Canadian looking for, you know, somewhere to go to get a custom wheelchair made, this is the place. That's all I got for you guys. That's my list of cool wheelchairs. I wanna thank all of the people on Facebook who contributed to the little survey I did. And I wanna thank all of my friends for giving me information on the chairs that they currently have. I made a little uh, cheat sheet. I don't know if you can see it, but I did um, a whole cheat sheet for myself about these different types of wheelchairs. Um, and I will um, put that in the description below as a link for you to download so that you guys can uh, have this in case you wanna keep it on hand. You can even just put it in a file somewhere and when you're ready to order a new wheelchair, you can go to this and be like, oh, these are all the different types of wheelchair brands that I have available to me. They might not all be available in your area, but at least this gives you a good starting point and gives you a lot to compare. So it's hard to know what's you know the best or what's a really good value if you don't have anything to compare it to. And just being able to go to these websites and seeing the different designs that the wheelchairs have, the different features, the different capabilities of them, um, and then be able to, to go back to wherever you're getting your wheelchair and say like, this is what I want, this is why, um, these are important to me. Um, yeah, that all helps you have a better functioning wheelchair in the end. So I hope this video was helpful, you guys. Uh, if it was, please give me a like and, you know, comment down below because that's my favorite part is reading the comments and knowing that the things that I spend time on uh, actually help somebody and it's not just, you know, me rambling into a camera all day for nothing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.